This is the new office. It needs a lot of work. Got a lot of orange juice. Um, anyway, yeah, this is the new office. Uh, this week was E3. I think it might still be going on, but I only really paid attention to Microsoft. Because, you know, that's who I shit. Microsoft. So, I said I was going to do a video yesterday, but then I got caught up in the Sims. I was playing that, and then my wife had a baby, and then she died, and all. Uh, so stressful. <laughs> Just a video game, guys. Yeah. Anyway, um, none of my normal co-host people, host other host geekers, none of them are here. Josh just had the baby. Oh my god, I get it. So cute. I, I, I don't... I didn't... Yeah, I didn't act crazy. I didn't have baby fever. It was sleep deprivation, guys. Anyway, so today I have... I do have my dog, Buffy. She's gonna help me co-host, aren't you? Okay. She doesn't want to. Um. Just go somewhere. Yeah, go somewhere. Um. Okay. So, anyways, E3. So, I'm just gonna focus on the things I was most impressed with. Um. Let me get another drink first. Mm. Ah, refresh. Okay. So, for, as soon as I turn on the TV, well, they lied to me. They said it was going to start at noon, but it really started at 11.30, so I'll probably miss some of it. However, as soon as I turned it on, they were showing footage of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And let me tell you, that game looks awesome. It looks... They had the cycling grenades. Those things just look so cool. You just throw them in the like, little helicopters. <laughs> Boom. Oh. I should calm down. Okay. So, yeah. Overall, it looks really cool. I don't really play Call of Duty games. Last one I played was Call of Duty 2. And this is like, what? Call of Duty 6, 7, 50? I don't know. But anyway, this one looks really cool. I might actually play it. Considering I ever get an Xbox One. <laughs> um... They also showed a game called Evolve. Um, not really sure what to think about it. I think it could be pretty cool. Apparently, it's a multiplayer game where you can either be a team of monster hunters or you can be the monster attacking everybody, which looks really cool. And that monster looked pretty cool. I'm not sure what it was, but, you know, yeah. Which reminds me, they also showed this awesome little, I don't know if it would be an indie game. But it's kind of a slender light thing, but it's alien. It's like you're in the alien movie, and then the alien's just walking around, and you have no idea where it's gonna be. So you have a little motion detector thing, and you just gotta run for your life. But it looks so much fun, I wanna play it. Um, next, the new Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, they showed gameplay trailer of it, and it actually looked really cool. Um, yeah, it's an online multiplayer thing, which is something they haven't done before. You can actually make your own brotherhood of friends, and it just looked awesome. And the engine that they made it with looks so cool. The entire game just looks cool. It takes place in, like, the French Revolution, I think? I'm not sure. There was a bunch of people in the poofed-up suits with white makeup on, so... Who knows? Um, okay, so... The next... Okay, the thing that got me most excited, because it was kind of let down with Mass Effect. Eh, kind of. Um, I'll get back to that later. But the Halo Master Chief Collection. Oh my gosh. Again, if I ever get an Xbox One, mm, please. Um, this November is the 10 year anniversary of the release of Halo 2. I cannot believe it's already been that long. God, I feel old. Anyways. They are, re the same way they did with Halo 1, they are releasing Halo 2 Anniversary in the Master Chief Collection. They completely remastered it. It looked amazing. Um, they brought some of the multiplayer maps back and they redid those too. And, oh, it includes, um, I have it all right here. I was just so excited. Um, it is going to include Halo Anniversary. Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, 
Halo 4, it's going to have the Halo 5 Guardians beta, and it's going to include the live action series from Ridley Scott, which is completely separate from the Steven Spielberg one that they're also working on that's going to be around the release of Halo 5. But, oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. God, I hope I have an Xbox One by November. If I don't, I'm going to cry. I'm already starting to cry. It ain't even November. Sleep deprivation, guys. It'll get you. Um, but, yes, I'm looking forward to that. That's coming out November 11th, I believe. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I haven't really played many of the Dragon Age games. I played Dragon Age Origins and a little bit of Dragon Age 2, but then I just stopped for some reason. And it's not because I didn't like the games, because I actually love the games. I'm, I'm an RPG player. I love them. I just don't know why I quit. Probably a Halo game came out or something and, you know, just priorities. Um, however, Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, like all these games, I'm sounding so repetitive, guys, but it looks incredible. All these games look incredible. Um, they surprised me with the new Tomb Raider. I mean, I'm sure it didn't surprise a lot of people. I think they already had plans for it, but I didn't see it coming. Um, the sequel to the Tomb Raider that they... So the reboot Tomb Raider series, um, it looks amazing. It was the rise of the Tomb Raider, that's what it's called. Um, and it looks pretty intense, obviously, because the events from the first, it starts out with her in therapy. I mean, the events from the first game obviously made her, whoa, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, anything else? La, 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 la. Let me just, I got, I took notes, guys. I was prepared. Um, oh, The Witcher 3, um, I never played any of The Witcher games, however, I heard I should have, so hope, maybe this will be my first one, again, if I get an Xbox One, because this gameplay actually looked really cool, so I'm really excited about it. What are you doing, dog? I don't know where she got that from. Oh, anyway, on to the EA conference i was really hoping to see mass effect 4 oh gosh and i wasn't totally disappointed but i was mostly disappointed i mean i got that i know they're working on it they showed concept art con they called it a conceptual prototype i think was the word phrase they used and oh, i was really hoping to see more but it's good to know that they're working on it they got a lot of people really talented team working on it i saw krogan I know that I know that's Mass Effect. I just can't wait. And um, oh, okay. Where next? Oh okay. yeah, Star Wars Battlefront. This looks like the Star Wars game we've been waiting to play forever. They have scouted locations that the original Star Wars were filmed. Oh my gosh! They went to the Lord Lucas Arts and got all the props. They scanned them. They want this thing to be perfect. I mean, they've been working hard on this game, and it looks like it's going to be worth it in the end. It, uh, the conception, again, they did conceptual prototypes, but it, oh, it just looks so pretty. I can't wait to play this game. And Sims 4, I, like I was saying, I got hooked on Sims earlier. Oh gosh, I can only imagine what's going to happen in this one. I'm talking too fast, ain't it? I'm sorry, I'm going to slow down. Okay, so this one looks pretty awesome they're including smart sims so like events that happened like a week ago will affect you in the present day as your well affect your sim there i go again <laughs> blurs between reality guys oh, God. I'm, I'm okay um and lastly the new battlefield game um it's called battlefield hardlines and it's taking the war straight to the streets. It is cops versus criminals. And the gameplay looked awesome. I, I would look forward to playing this game. Uh, what I love about the battlefield is the destruction. Because like if you shoot a wall with an auto launcher, boom, the wall goes down. You don't really get that in most shooter games. But hopefully it's going to start happening more often. Someone here? Anyway. So yeah, and they did something new with that too. The beta is out now, but it's first come, first serve. So, you might want to go check that out. Anyway, 
that is all I got on the awesomeness of E3. There's probably a lot more I missed, but again, Blur Between Realities got me. Oh, so good. Anyway, onward about what's going on in the Legends of the Geekas in our office. Obviously the office, there is a smell in here. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's not mold. But we got moved to the back of my house. So I tried to suit it up as much as I could. I'm not blaming the move on anybody. But what are you gonna do? Um, no, but I think it would. I think it could be nice if we just get it fixed up. We got some Game of Thrones mats behind us. Looks pretty cool. And yeah. Anyway, so that's happening. Um, I've also we've also started a Kickstarter. Because we are currently in the process of writing a rep. <laughs> we are currently in the process of writing a web series. There we go. I nailed it, guys. Um, I can't really talk much about it right now because it is in the very beginning works. But we kind of need money for it. Yeah. It, I can tease it a little. Um, imagine the show Once Upon a Time. But with video game characters. That that might not be a proper thing. It's kind of like that. Not exactly like that. That's all I can say. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Just, yeah. Anyway, go to um, igg.me slash at slash Legends of the Geekers. And that will bring up our Kickstarter thing that we are trying to raise. Um, it's going on for two months. So, please show your support. We could use it, as you know. We need better equipment. I mean, I'm filming with my phone and a computer right now. That's probably why you see me doing this, you know. I'm filming, I'm trying two different cameras. See which one's better. Um, got a crappy webcam and crappy phone, which actually is pretty nice. That's why you see me looking down and up again. Sorry, guys. But yeah, go show us support on our Kickstart. Um, our YouTube channel It is. Well, you're watching it from here probably, so unless you're watching off the Facebook page. But yeah, like our Facebook page. Um go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe, you know, all the usual stuff. Um I think that's about it. So keep tuned in guys. Yeah, do that, please. I love you forever. Uh, it's so lonesome. So yeah, do all the stuff I just said. Be awesome. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Stay tuned. We have more stuff coming. Bye.